everyone, welcome to Good Morning Tumble with Ben Apsey and... I'm Daryl Nicholson at Jazzy Lane. Just got the uh, beautiful Amy, just cut my hair mate, look at this. It does look, it does look quite uh, dashing there, Daryl. Well, yes sir, it's starting to look a bit like Elvis Presley. I had El Chris Isaac, it was sort of going up here at the top. So, um, no, look, Jazzy Lane is reopened, so opened um, Monday a week ago. Yep. So um, if you want to spoil yourself, get a haircut. There's nothing like getting a fresh haircut, is it? No, so. it is a good feeling, and it does make you look a little bit good. Yeah, it um, does, mate. Especially now that everyone's starting to go back to work, you're starting to reopen the, the pub, mm-hmm. you've got to look your best to be at yep. the pub. So. Yep. Jazzy Lane in Duggan Street, so um, it's the phone number there, so ring and book an appointment with um, the team here, so they're nearly all back on deck here, so which is great. Mate, um, a couple of things happening. The new mem- um, Labor candidate for Toowoomba South has put a hand up. Yep. And I've just forgotten her name. Susan Krauss. Susan Krauss. So she's put a hand up. Mate, going to be tough against David Janetsky. I'm not sure if I'll call it a safe seat for the member for Toowoomba South, but what do you think? Um, I, look, it's, it's, it's notoriously it's been a, um, a safe um, LNP seat or mm-hmm. Liberal National seat. Yep. The, um, the, the interesting thing, I think, for me will be to see who the Labor candidate is for Tom and North. Tom and North, yeah. I think that, that is what everyone is waiting to see, yep. who that is going to be. So, okay. yeah. Lincoln's pushing the chair around there, mate, uh, taking <laughs> it for a bit of a walk. So. And, mate, um, Indigenous um, Health was under the, um, under the scope yesterday with um, uh, Kabul Medical Centre. Yes. They're doing um, tests for COVID-19 for the Indigenous population of Toowoomba. Yes, that's really good to see um, that one open um, for the community mm-hmm. and a few other um, businesses opening around the, the place as well. Yep. So um, we've got Oasis and um, Day Spa has mm-hmm. reopened yep. um, up on Margaret Street. So yep. they, they're back at it doing a remedial massage only. They're not doing the beauty stuff. Okay. And stuff. Yep. Uh, so, but they're, they're reopened as of today. Okay. Yep. Yeah, oh, good. A few other businesses. So look forward to Friday, the announcement from the Prime Minister. So um, they're having a National Cabinet meeting on Friday. And I think... Um, the Northern Territory open in two weeks, and I think we'll probably find the same that we mm. might be able to get our cob loaf with Brad Fitzgibbon. That, that Fitzy is good. I'm, be, I'm very keen for a cob loaf. They put up a uh, it was a competition between do you prefer the cob loaf or do you prefer the um, tasting platter? And you had to pick one or the other, and I don't really know because they're both very good the tasting platter and right. the cob loaf. So. Okay. Well, there you go. So, looking forward to uh, Brad and the team at Fitzy's, looking forward to. Um, Catching up with you today is um, May the sixth. Is it the sixth or the seventh? I don't know. It is the sixth of May today. Sixth of May. Uh, we have a top temperature today of twenty-one degrees. Twenty-one degrees. Brilliant. Okay, it's going to be a beautiful day, mate. And look, I walk downtown, walk down our uh, Quonsain Walk, down to Jazzy Lane, and um, the Oaks is looking really good. The bar, we're going to go up, and I'm going to show you, mate. The bar looks really hot, so I can't wait to have a draft beer there as well. I, I can re- still recall. The, the Gladstone, and yep. when it was there, yep. uh, prior to its uh, redevelopment, had one of the best parties. So oh yeah, yeah. I'm very keen for it to reopen. Yeah, so I tell you a funny story. Every Sunday when I was growing up, hey? Dad, Dad, <laughs> Dad would drop us to the shrine, and he'd say, and he wouldn't come to church, but he'd say, "Listen, you guys have got one cross. I'm going up for four crosses," and that was a four X at the Glad. So. <laughs> With uh, Graham Healing's dad back then, um, his dad was a public in there, so but looking forward to the Oaks opening up as well. So there's Lincoln. How are you, mate? Lincoln, Lincoln's making a guest appearance. You want to say hello to everyone? Hello, everyone. <laughs> right. Uh, this is um, Wednesday, the sixth of uh, May. It is the sixth of May, and it is a Wednesday. <laughs> it is, oh, sorry, it's a Wednesday. And uh, welcome along. We're here at Jazzy Lane, Duggan Street. Um, so book your appointment with Gay and the team here. And, Again, thank you, Amy, for the beautiful haircut today. I really do appreciate it. I'm Darren Nicholson, Toomba 4358 TV. More than just a postcode. <laughs> and I am Ben Apsey with Good Morning Toomba, wearing a different shirt for those that have uh, commented on the wardrobe. So I hope this one goes all right on the camera. But look, if, you, if you've got any wardrobe suggestions for us, please send them through. That'd be great. So. Take care, Toomba.